Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn Cobol loop statements. So this is the agenda. We have performed through, perform until, perform times, perform wearing, and then we have go to statement. So we'll see each one of them in detail. So perform through. This is used to execute a series of paragraph by giving the first and the last paragraph name in the sequence. After executing the last paragraph, control is returned back to the same paragraph from where it started. So this is the syntax perform paragraph 1 through paragraph 3. So all the paragraphs between 1 and 3 will be executed in the same order in which they were coded. Like logic will come to paragraph 1, then second, then paragraph 3. So this is how the control flows in perform through statement. Now next is perform until. In perform until a paragraph is executed until the given condition becomes true. We test before is the default condition and it indicates that condition is checked before the execution statements in a paragraph. So this is the syntax perform a until any condition. So this paragraph will be performed until this condition becomes true. Once this condition is true, it will come out of this perform statement. Then we have perform times. So it's a simple one. In perform times, a paragraph will be executed the number of times we specified in the logic so like perform a paragraph five times so what this will do is this will perform a paragraph five times then we have perform varying so in perform varying a paragraph will be executed till the condition in until phrase becomes true so here what will it will be more clear with the syntax perform a para varying a from one by one until a is less than five so what it will do is it will set the value of a to one and then it will increase the value of a by one so until it reaches a is less than 5 so once it uh, once this condition is true it will come out of the loop now we have go to statement till now we have discussed like in perform statements the control come back to the same paragraph from where we started it now in go to statement it is used to change the flow of execution in a program in go to statement control never comes back so in go to statement transfer goes only in the forward direction and it is used to exit a paragraph here you can see we have two conditional, uh, we have unconditional go to and then we have conditional go to. Unconditional means simply go to that paragraph name. So we'll mention go to this paragraph name and the control will go, uh, never come back uh, to the main paragraph. So it will start from that paragraph only. Then we have conditional go to. It depends on the values of certain. So like uh, go to paragraph 1 or you can mention paragraph 2 and 3 depending on x. So if the value is 1 then paragraph 1 will be executed if value of x is 2 then if you need to write here paragraph 2 then paragraph 2 will be executed so in this way in go to the control only flows in the forward direction so now let's see all these functions practically we will start with perform through i have coded one cobol module in which we will be executing all the perform statements In PLOOP module, I have coded all the perform statements, all the cases which are relevant. Here in working storage, I have defined one variable WS count, which we will be using for perform until and perform varying from one by one condition. So it's a simple logic. Here, this is our first paragraph A000 para, and this is the stop run. These statements are after the stop run statement. In the first statement is display a000 inline perform para. Here you can see this will be st this statement will be displayed directly. There is no condition. This is a simple inline perform statement. And here we are doing a end perform to mark the end of this statement. After this, we are calling perform c para through e para. It will search for c para and th then it will execute it till e para here you can see that this is our c para i have just coded one display statement display c perform para and for d also f also so this line it will take the control from here and it will come here it will execute c d and e para and then it will go back there and the control will be here once all these three paras are executed then we have perform 
simply perform b para we are outline perform here you cannot see any statement which is coded before stop run b para is after the stop run but from here the control will come to b para it will display the statement and again the control will go back to the same place the next is perform f000 para with test after until ws count is equal to 3 here what it will do is we have initial we have initialized ws count its starting value is 0 and and when you will uh, it will start from ws count 0 so as discussed we have two s scenarios here perform f para until ws count if you remove this part with test after then it it will take by default with test before there are two situations with test after and with test before with test before is the default condition and it indicates that condition is checked before the execution of the statements in a paragraph we have mentioned with test after in this scenario conditions will be checked and be, uh, a condition will be checked after the execution of the statement in paragraph for the first time then we have simple three times situation perform g para three times so this is our g para so it will be performing g para three times and again the control will go back to the same place the next line is perform h para varying ws count from one by one until ws count is equal to seven so you know when the condition is met at that time it will stop the processing here last time ws count value was three because here we are adding add one to ws count in every iteration till ws count is equal to 3 so it means the last value in ws count was 3 and here but in this scenario it will again again initialize it from 1 because we have mentioned from 1 by 1 so perform h para varying ws count here the ws count value will be 1 because we have given 1 here by 1 until the value is 7 so what it will do is it will execute h para Un until ws count is equal to 1 and its starting position will be 1 starting value now we will compile this program and then we will see the output we will use the same compile jcl I have already changed the name it's p loop now here also you can see it's p loop submit it here you can see max 4 in the last video I have told you max 4 is fine there are just warning messages but we'll go to spool and we'll check this in the COBOL sysprint you need to go and you need to check go to MF8 here you can see a blank was missing before character equal to I believe we have given one condition where we were checking equal to 7 so it has assumed it by default a blank was assumed so no need to worry about this if you want to change you will get max 0 if you put a space between equal to and 7 I will show you in program as well which statement it is talking about just go here it is talking about this statement ws count equal to 7 this equal to it is assume it is expecting a space before equal to and after equal to that's that's the reason it has shown two warning messages I'm not going to change it and I'm going to execute it with max 4 only so we'll see what's the result after this so we have already compiled this now we'll submit this JCL using same j hello module but I've changed the program name it's p loop now condition code 0 it's success you go to spool again hit enter okay here we go this is our job I will open this we'll go to spool 
side by side I will open the program as well just to show you what which statement should be printed whether it is printing as per our expectation or not the first statement should be a line perform para because this is the first sta uh, display statement we we'll go and check we got a in line perform para then we have c d and e this is because of this perform this through e like perform c para through e para so c d and e para graph will be executed that's the reason we are seeing this c d e then we can see b perform para here you can see perform b para after this c1 this this is the b para if it it will go to b para and it is simply displaying b perform para so here we are seeing the same thing then this is iteration one zeroth iteration first iteration and second iteration and in f para basically what we have given for f para perform f para until we test after until count is equal to 3 and in f para we are displaying ws count the value of ws count for the first time and then adding one to this so you can see initialize we have initialized this value with zero then one then two every time this loop is adding one to the value of ws count and when the count was three it didn't went to this paragraph it simply came out from this logic and it went to the next line the next line is perform g para three times like it will be printed three times we'll go and check g g g this is the display statement and it, it is performed three times the next is iteration one two three four five six this is um, okay this para h para wearing ws count from one by one until seven as I, we have discussed this earlier this value will be initialized to one and it will be performed six times because it's the seventh time the value will be the condition will be satisfied and it will come out of the loop and then it will encounter stop run statement and it will stop the program execution this is the last line so this is about loop statements in the next video we'll discuss about table processing